Good morning, my favorite geometry peeps. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow. I will let you know later today when I know. Okay, so today's lesson, this is the same lesson I would have done if we were in class together and it's super, super easy, I promise you. Bear with me. Hopefully on your way into class, you picked up your worksheet and hopefully you were able to take notes if they were being displayed, okay? If not, here are the same notes. Okay, this lesson is about, is it possible to have a triangle given say three different lengths? So for example, let me just make up a, a problem, okay? Let's say I have one length of, one side of a triangle is six, the other side of a triangle is eight, and supposedly the other side of a triangle is maybe 11. The question is, is it possible to make a triangle of these lengths? Well, the triangle inequality theorem says the two smaller sides have to add up to more than the third side. So six plus eight is 14. Is that more than 11? Yes. So then that would make a triangle. However, if I had six, eight, and 14, now my two small sides are 14. That is not more than 14. It can't even be equal. It has to be more than the third side. This would not make a triangle. And if you think about it, if the two small sides are too small, then the third side just doesn't, it won't make it, won't reach it. It's not, not gonna work, okay? So moving on. Can these be, oh, one of them's already in there. Can these be Lengths of a triangle. Add up the two small numbers. Is that more than 12? Yup, 15 is more than 12. Therefore, yes, this could be a triangle. Okay? Be warned on the second one. Make sure you use the two smallest numbers. 6 plus 11. Is that more than 14? Yup. And 6 plus 8. Is that more than 14? Nope. So it's very, very easy. Okay, so that's the first part. Next, for this one, they give you two sides and they ask, what are the possible lengths of the third side? Well, the easiest thing to do is just take the two numbers they give you, add them and subtract them, okay? Add them, you get 16. Subtract them, you get two. And we're talking about sides of a triangle, so it's always a positive answer. So add and subtract in any order. And that means my third side has to be between 2 and 16. So we write x, which is the third side, has to be between 2 and 16. You can write it like that. Okay, now why? Why does that work? Well, let's let the third side be 16. Then we would have 7, 9, and 16. Would the two smaller sides add up to more than 16? No, but we didn't say it includes 16, this symbol right here. Instead, if this was just slightly more than that, 16.1, or sorry, just slightly less than that, 15.9, then it would work, okay? So it can't be 16, that's the boundary. Same thing on the other side with the two. If the third side was two, then the three sides would be two, seven, and nine, and two and seven is not more than nine. So the third side can be any number between two and 16, but it can't include the two or the 16. 15 would work. 15.9 would work. 2.1 would work, okay? So try the next one. 10 and 17. Add them up, we get 27. Subtract, you get seven. So the third side has to be a number between seven and 27, okay? So now you guys can hit pause and do some of the problems or the next part of the lesson is pretty easy too if you wanna just keep on going, it's up to you. All right, this is the third part of the lesson and I, I don't think it's hard either. It's really very common sense, okay? Again, this hopefully was being displayed in your notes. All right, this is saying the smallest angle is always across from the smallest side, the largest angle is across from the largest side and the reverse, okay? It's pretty straightforward. So if we're looking at the triangle given here, the longest side is 13. Across from that, the largest angle would be angle B, okay? 
The smallest side was seven, so the smallest angle would be across from that, the A. Okay, so this says order the angles from least to greatest. So the smallest one would be across from the seven, that would be angle A. The next one would be the medium sized one, which is across from the 10, so it would be angle C. And the largest one is across from the largest side, angle B. Make sure you pay attention to whether they say least to greatest or greatest to least. Okay, and on the last example, it's pretty much the reverse. So for the last one, they want us to order the sides from least to greatest. So find the missing angle first. You remember the angles have to add up to 180. So we add the two that we have. 103 plus 42 would be 145. Subtract from 180 and we get 35. So the remaining angle is 35. Okay, now list the sides from least to greatest. Well, the smallest angle is 35, so the smallest side is across from it, this one here, okay? Side DE or ED, doesn't matter which way you say it. The next one, the, next, the medium sized angle would be 42. Across from the 42 is this side DF. And last, the largest angle is 103. Across from that is EF. Okay, that's it. That's how it works. Pretty straightforward. So, largest angle across from largest side and vice versa. Good luck, guys. It's super easy. I hope you're doing okay. If you need to, replay the whole thing. That's okay, too. All right? So, good luck. Bye. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Fingers crossed.